joined by Gordon Cunningham, Curramore Stud. You've had a lot of success both here and Australia recently. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, first and foremost, um, <clears throat> I suppose what's most current is Asterix winning the Derby. He's a horse that was um, born on the farm, bred by Sir Owen Glenn, um, within his company of Go Bloodstock New Zealand. Um, he keeps four or five mares with us, and it was terrific. We, he was a horse that was developed on the farm, and we produced him for the Breeze Up Sale the year before last. And 16 months later, he's won a Derby, which was... Um, the um, goal of Lance O'Sullivan, Andrew Scott and his owner Sam Kelt um, when they purchased the horse. So it's a little bit of a fairy tale, so that's most current. Um, a couple of hours before that we had a filly in Melbourne also born and raised on the farm and developed here in New Zealand before she went over to Mick Price in Australia, a filly called Anna Visto. And she won a 1400 metre Group 3 race. And I suppose in the last couple of weeks um, we've Got a great sense of fulfilment from Tofani, who um, won her fourth Group 1 race in the Ore Stakes. So that's all been very special, what's transpired in the last couple of months or so. And just touching on Asterix again, I believe there might be a pretty special horse in your barn at the moment, following yeah. that derby win. Well, it's it's all about timing, isn't it? And um, we've got we're going to offer a full sister to to Asterix, which is great, and uh, um, the horse is just a great endorsement for the horses that come off our farm. And we consider this filly was a good prospect, I suppose, having seen what's transpired in the last three weeks. Well, she's a full sister to a Derby winner. The genes work. Um, she's a good type, she's probably a little bit more forward and advanced than her full brother was at the same stage. So we'd have to think that she's a very good prospect for, for those who might be interested in her. So I see both your sons are here at the sales today. Liam is currently working for you and Patrick is part of the New Zealand Bloodstock team. Yes, yeah, well certainly um, it's, it's great to have Liam as part of our team here at the sales. Um, they both graduated from university last April and um, I, su I, I guess you could say they f they sort of flew away in their directions. Um, Liam has been um, in, um, over there working at um, Tiaka Racing and um, learning, learn just enjoying the experience, learning so much from Jamie Richards and his team there. He's gained a, an interview for the um, Godolphin Flying Start um, program, which is um, um, to get to that stage is, is an achievement in itself and Patrick equally, he, um, he's after following his graduation um, from Victoria University in Wellington, he, um, he joined New Zealand Bloodstock on an internship in the finance department and he's got a whole, a whole broad range of um, interests and, um, and roles at New Zealand Bloodstock including the, the online and their own online auction platform in Gavel House. So, so it's great. I'd never thought that they might have been um, as entrenched in the industry as they are now, but it's funny how things work out.